Hey there, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's Monday Must Haves. Like I said when I did my unboxing and swatches, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Monday Fills products. Um, so if you'd like to see me do a look and my first impression review of these, then please keep on watching. I am so excited. Okay, so as you saw, I got the um, palette, the lip kit, the blush, and then also the lip oil. I tried the lip oil in that unboxing. It is great. Um, they do have another one. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what that one looks like. But I thought this one looked um, nicer and more pigmented and everything, so that's why I went ahead and just went with this one. But you get a little nine shade palette. They're not huge, so I don't feel like you get a ton of product. Um, you get 0.35 ounces or 10 grams of product, so eh, it's it's okay. Um, but I'm excited to go ahead and create an eye look and try the blush and everything. But as you can see, I have the rest of my makeup on, foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, brows. Um, I did use a little bit of P. Louise eyeshadow base in room or two on my eyes. I'll go in and link everything I used. It will be in the little products tab. But I'm going to go into this shade right here for my transition. And I'm not a lot of kick up in the pan, which is great, but it is going nicely onto the brush. Okay, I do have a new mirror, so, okay, let's just go ahead and try this. I like that it's a cool toned palette. I personally love a nice cool toned palette, but um, I know like right now with it being fall, people are into the warm tones, but there's something about a nice cool toned palette that just, I don't know, I love it. So blended nicely, pigmented, did have to be built up a little bit, but that's totally fine. I'm going to go into this matte brown shade right here with a crease brush. This one does have a little bit more kick up, but not much. Okay. That's a beautiful shade. I like that a lot. Nice cool tone brown. So this is considered a eye and face palette. So you could technically use these on your, on your face if you wanted to. I am going to be brave because I already have my foundation and concealer and everything on. I'm going to go in with this black shade. I swatched this when I did my little unboxing and it looked really really pretty so we'll just go ahead and use a little bit of that on the outer corner hopefully we don't have too much fallout onto the face I feel like it pretty much goes on uh, matte but it is a really uh, nice deep black Okay, so I know it looks a little scary right now, but I'm going to go in with this deep brown shimmer. Oh, that is so soft. The black um, is nice. Um, I feel like if you wanted it to be actually shimmery, I would apply it with a wet brush, but it looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to tap this on the center of the lid to blend into that black. So that way we actually have a blend and it's just not stark black. Um, Okay, so I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and it's a really beautiful taupe, and let's go and put that on the rest of the lid, and once again, we're just going to blend it with our finger. I'm going with that nice deep brown. I'm going to be smoking a little bit of this on my lower lash line. Okay, for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with this shade. Just pop that in, add a little bit of brightness. It's pretty. 
I like the eye look. I think it will come together once I get some mascara on, but I'm going to go in and go in with the blusher. It's called a face enhancer. Um, but let's go ahead and try a little bit of this. A little bit of kick up, but not bad. So the other collection, it had a brighter blush. Um, that blush might be better for medium to deeper um, skin tones because I'm not seeing a ton of color with this one, but I mean, it's okay. It just might need to be built up a little bit. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my lighting. It keeps fluctuating. I do apologize about that. Okay, it can be built up. It's just a very, very light um, blusher, just, but it is a little bit more on the neutral side, which is nice. So since this is a face palette, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try the shade that we used on our inner corner. I'm gonna use that as a um, highlighter. I'm just gonna dip my brush into it. It's pretty, it's a little icy. pretty. Okay, let me go in and pop on some mascara. I'll be right back and we'll go ahead and try the lip kit. Okay, I definitely think the mascara definitely helped um, to make the black smoked out look a little bit better. So I'm happy about that. But let's go ahead and try the lip kit. So this includes a lip gloss and a lip liner. Um, like I showed, really cute packaging. So, oh, and by the way, everything is coffee scented. Oh, well, I don't know about this, but I'm going to assume but it looks like a really beautiful, cooler toned nude. So, lip gloss, Monday Feels, and then the cute little lip liner. I'm not the best with lip liner, but I'm gonna try. Okay, lip liner's nice. Um, a little bit on the drier side, which I actually do prefer. I feel like if they're too glidey, then they feather because I'm a smoker. I'm 37, so I don't have like, I have wrinkly lips basically, but let's go and try the lip gloss. Oh yeah, smells really, really good. Nice doe foot. I like the lip gloss a lot. It's pretty, at first I thought it was gonna be a little too light, but I think it's perfect. Um, I really, really like it. Let me take my hair down. Um, I like this collection. Stop it, sorry about the lighting. I don't know, I need to check the settings on my camera. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so um, I really like everything except the blush. Um, I'm disappointed that it doesn't show up very much because it's a beautiful shade. I thought it would show up a little bit more. I can definitely try building it up a little bit more, but um, I think everything in the collection is really, really nice. Um, the blush isn't bad. It's not like I hate it, but um, if you were looking at this collection, I would recommend the palette and the lip kit. The lip oil is really nice too if you're into lip oils. The blush, I don't know. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's just not building up a ton and... I don't know, I feel like I would go through this very quickly just because it is so light. And I'm not super dark, like I'm a little bit more pale. Um, and I feel like this definitely has to be built up a ton to even see it. So blush is not my favorite. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, the palette is really, really nice. Um, I think it's nicely pigmented and easy to use. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a nice cool toned palette. I think this is great. And then the lip kit is beautiful. I really like it as well. So definitely recommend this as well. But that is the Monday Fills collection from Wet n Wild. I would recommend it if you're looking for a new, some new makeup, you don't want to spend a lot. The palette was like $6.99. I think the lip kit was $6.99. So not the cheapest as Wet n Wild goes, but it's not ex super expensive either, if that makes sense. So I like it. I recommend it. 
um, except for the blush. Um, I would maybe look into the other blush because it is darker, and if it's the same formula, it probably uh, needs to be built up as well. It's probably not going to be as bright as it looks in the pan. So anyway, there we go. That is it. I'm definitely having the Monday fills. I have to go back to work. I'm filming this on my lunch, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it. Let me know down below in the comments if you have seen this collection. Were you interested in it? Have you picked anything up? I would love to know down below. And um, if you did enjoy, make sure that you do subscribe to my channel. I upload seven days a week all about budget beauty. Um, it's not just beauty like makeup. It's skincare, fragrance, hauls, vlogs, home decor, um, all so sorts of stuff. So make sure you subscribe. And of course, you're also welcome to follow me on my other social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I'll go ahead and have those linked down below for you if you're interested. And I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you have a great day. Um, another video should start autoplaying here in a moment. It might be one of mine. It might be somebody else's. But sit back, relax, and enjoy. And I'll see you here in just a sec.